afternoon cross timbers. I'm Harley Brown and welcome to this week's episode of Texan Sports Minute. In today's headlines, Charlton football falls to Eastern New Mexico, Texan volleyball extends their win streak to 10 games, Oscar Pistorius is released from prison, and hired escort speaks about Louisville basketball scandal. The Texan football team fell to Eastern New Mexico University 49-44 homecoming night at Memorial Stadium despite having a season best 572 yards on offense. Eastern New Mexico was able to put up 14 unanswered points to start the game before a 21-yard touchdown run by Jabari Anderson put Tarleton on the board. The Texans would strike early in the second quarter with a touchdown by Lamar Myers to tie up the game, but unfortunately the Texans could never find the lead as the Greyhounds went on to score two more unanswered touchdowns, giving them the 28 14 lead. Tarleton was un unfortunately unable to get any momentum going for the rest of the game, which ult ultimately led to the loss. Leonard Myers and Bubba Tandy led the Texans as they both finished the game with over 100 yards on offense. Dakota Heskew also had a career high 15 tackles, while Cody Bertscher and Chase Renato contributed 11 tackles apiece. The Texans will play their final home game of the season Saturday, October 24th at 7 p.m. against Oklahoma Panhandle State. With wins over Texas women's and Texas A&M Commerce, the Tarleton volleyball team has extended their win streak to 10 games. This is the longest win streak in Tarleton history since they've been a part of the NCAA. Haley Roberts earned 23 kills in the four-set win over Texas Women's University and 15 against Commerce in the three-set win. Kelsey Raglan also contributed 15 total kills, while Aisa Garcia totaled 25 digs. The Texans take on Angelo State tonight for the battle of first place in the conference. Last time Tarleton faced Angelo was the first conference game of the season when they fell to Angelo in four sets, giving them their only loss in conference, conference play so far. Angelo currently has an 8-1 record in conference play after a four-set loss to Texas A&M Kingsville. Fans are encouraged to wear black for tonight's game to Blackout Wisdom Gym. Amputee Olympic athlete Oscar Pistorius has been re released from prison and put on house arrest after killing his girlfriend when he thought that she was an intruder. We will now go to the Associated Press for more on the story. Oscar was released into correctional supervision last night. Like you, we had expected him to be released today, but um, we were informed that the details of any release are decided upon by the facility concerned, and that is why Oscar was released a couple of hours earlier. The family is happy that Oscar's home, but they want to make the point that Oscar's sentence continues. And that is the key point here. His sentence isn't shortened, it hasn't been reduced. He continues to serve his sentence as per the sentence handed down by the trial judge. His trial, it, it didn't go the way that the public would have thought it would have gone, and I believe that he should still be behind bars and and yeah, I don't believe he should have any preferential treatment just because of his status prior to, to the incident. It doesn't matter to them. They knew he was going to be released. Whether it was a few hours earlier or a few hours later doesn't change anything in their lives because ultimately Riva is still not coming back. So it doesn't matter to them. After releasing a book over the scandal regarding a staffer of the Louisville men's basketball team hiring escorts for recruits and players, Katina Powell is speaking out claiming she has no proof that head coach of the team, Rick Pitino, had any idea. We'll now go to the Associated Press for video. The University of Louisville men's basketball team isn't commenting on allegations that the team provided escorts to have sex with recruits. A spokesman says no statement will come before a review of the allegations is complete. The allegations come from Katina Powell, who claims she was an escort. I understand I play my part in it, and a lot of people are going to look at me like I'm bad and I'm wrong. I understand that. She claims in her book, Breaking Cardinal Rules, Basketball and the Escort Queen, that former team staffer Andre McGee hired her and other dancers to strip and have sex with former recruits and players. She told ESPN that she has no proof that men's basketball coach Rick Pitino knew about it, but she has her suspicions. I just knew side deals with sex. This, this is my theory. Four years, a boatload of recruits, a boatload of dancers, loud music, alcohol, security, cameras, basketball players who came in at will, dancers, their dancers, the whole dance team, may I add, saw us in there. How could Rick not know? Coach Patino denies knowledge of the allegations. Powell says the events happened between 2010 and 2014. I feel like I, I contributed a lot to UofL for those four years. I mean, I kind of went through the ringer making these guys, you know, 
feel comfortable, um, giving them what, as Andre would say, no other college is giving them. Andre McGee is now on administrative leave from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. His attorney has rejected the allegations. Some students say they don't believe it either. I think she's just trying to get publicity and it's not fair really to the basketball team and then of course to the coach Rick Pitino because everyone's going to wind up taking the fall for something that she just wants a little bit of fame for. Paul's allegations have led to four well, separate yeah, investigations. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. That's it for this week's episode of Texan Sports Minute. Check back next week for, Tarleton, for sports news from Tarleton's campus and beyond.